morning and welcome back to what is an actual vlog can you believe it because i can't so yeah today i'm going to big beauty day out in manchester i think it's the 13th of april and i said i'd vlog it because i don't have a video go up yesterday this will probably go up the day after it so yeah that's here what i'm doing but yeah um i'm planning on wearing like this pink skirt thing that's behind me and i'm like really pale at the moment because obviously it's april and we've not really had summer yet so i used this like dove tinted moisturizer yesterday so it's kind of like fake tan but it's not really fake tan because i just turned into a cheesy what's it but it's kind of like developed a lot overnight and my legs do kind of look like cheesy what's it's now so yeah that's gonna be fun but yeah so it's currently like nine o'clock and it the doors open at 11 and then the actual thing doesn't start till 12. We've got a meet up with Georgia Lipscomb and Soph does nails from 1 till 2. So yeah, obviously I'll vlog throughout the day and keep you updated. So I'm just going to get ready now. Hope my legs don't look too orange and the lighting isn't like going to make it worse inside. And yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay, so it's a good like 25 minutes or so later now. And as you can probably tell, I'm not completely ready now. So yeah, um, we're going to pick Amy up like, well, I was going to say it on the way, but it's not on the way, like the other way and then back. Um, and then my dad's going to drive us because you can't really park around there. And then later when it finishes, it's right as United starts like the match and they... O2 Victoria Warehouse where it is is like literally right next to Old Trafford so obviously you won't be able to get to us so we're gonna get a tram back and then she's gonna get a bus home and I'm gonna get a train home. What I'm wearing is this um denim jacket that I got from H&M I think it was on Tuesday so yeah this is pretty new I kind of got it to go with this um, and there was a bit of like thing in the queue I ended up queuing up for like 20 minutes to get this because the woman in front was basically being dead fussy so yeah and then I've just got this new look bodysuit on underneath it with the ruffle sleeves. I'm pretty sure I wore this to VidCon about two months ago. And then this skirt, you might have seen it in my recent haul. This is from Primark. And yeah, obviously, just got socks on, which are also from Primark. And I'll probably wear my Stan Smiths with it. So we're with Amy now. Hello. So we were queuing outside for ages, absolutely freezing. But it's warm here now. And the light is really bad, it looks so white. So we're actually moving now and we're still alive and happy days. So this is Misha now. Hi! We're obviously here at Big Beauty out Manchester. The lighting is atrocious. I know. But we're just going with it. It's yeah. fine. And you look fabulous in all your pink. Thank you so much.
there's a bit of a jump forward in time now it's like 10 past 4 and yeah uh, after that last couple of films i don't know what that was um we tried to find the tram stop to get a tram back into manchester and we couldn't find it so we were basically walking the complete wrong way and google maps won't work on my phone so that was fun so yeah then we eventually found it and it was freezing and i got on the tram and then obviously we've got that many boxes and stuff it was a nightmare so yeah getting on the train was fun as well but look i had to see it this time so that wasn't too bad but i'll show you what we got when i get home so i was going to say that we just got home but that's kind of a lie because it's about two hours until last since i filmed the last clip about six o'clock now and yeah i've literally spent like about four hours stood still today and i never like stand still my feet just kill so i feel like i'm getting the fitness but yeah i thought i'm a sweater from walking upstairs i thought i would show you what we got today because there is an absolute lot of it and i feel like if you're a proper youtuber you're probably used to getting stuff for free all the time but getting stuff like that is actually like so cool for free so yeah i'll show you what we got and i've also got changed into leggings now because i was literally freezing cold so i feel like it's gonna try and focus on the window because that's really bright let me try and shut the curtain a bit is that any better don't know so yeah and um, the first thing that we got was the thing that i wanted the most so you got these little like passport things and then inside you're allowed to go on six of the fairground things and then you're allowed two food things but i didn't get any of them and then you could go on as many rides as you wanted for free so each i think there were eight fairground games so you could pick six of them to go on but one of them we didn't actually get stamped for so we got to go on seven everyone was a different game like knock down the cans or get like a ring on a hoop one of them stick things or just like fairground games like that obviously i can't throw or anything so I w if it had been a genuine fair i wouldn't have won on any of them but it didn't matter if you won or not you got the prize whatever you just had to have a go so yeah pretty much everyone got all of this so the first thing i got was the um mean girls burn book now i saw this in people's vlogs which i was watching yesterday from london big beauty day out and i was like if i get anything from big beauty day out this is the one thing i want so we went and got these and it's so cool so it's like i think it might be spectrum because it looks really similar to this that i got at christmas so it just unzips and then it's got space there's so so many makeup brushes inside which is such a cool idea yes yeah, spectrum x mean girls so i feel like this would have been like probably about 15 pounds obviously it's spectrum and it's mean girls so that was pretty cool to get for free and i feel like when i'm going up like a weight or something like that i could put my makeup and my brushes in there because there's ones for different sizes so that's really cool then the next thing we've got is literally like the world's biggest easter egg this took up the whole bag and everything else i had to carry it in my arms so yeah you could either get a smarties one or a yorky one so i got the smarties one but it's those ones where the smarties are actually like inside the egg as well so that's pretty cool and i think these eggs are like quite expensive on their own and then you got these organic chickpea puffs hippies and taster pack i think they're like crisps but they're not really could either have salt and vinegar bacon or something else i can't remember so yeah we got three packets of those in the bottom of the bag and from collab we got um a dry shampoo in the original fragrance amazing oil absorption without white residue i've never actually used dry shampoo on my hair so we can give this a go i've actually heard of that brand before and then from velo tan we've got the original tanning mitt and it's just got like peaches all over it which looks really cool and this i was like so hyped for so from nyx we got the whipped wonderland like soft matte metallic lip creams gift set i guess it is so it looks a bit like a carousel and then it's got 12 different um soft matte lip creams in there i absolutely love nyx lip creams and i've actually got the full um lingerie vault in my drawer so i can add this to it and yet these look like they're going to be so amazing i feel like these are from the christmas range maybe and then as soon as you went in there was a table with loads of tangle teasers on and tangle teasers are dear like this was put will probably be about 15 pounds so yeah we've got a tangle teaser this one's just got um pineapples and leaves on it so yeah then from maybelline you were either allowed a super stay liquid lipstick or a lash sensational mascara i literally bought a lash sensational mascara last week and i wish i hadn't because i could have got one today so yeah i went for the um 
Superstay Matte Ink lipstick instead. You could have a purple one, a pink one, or this nude colour, and pretty much everyone went for this. So this is in the shade 05 Loyalist. Then Beauty Bay had a thing where it was like you spun a wheel, even though you were allowed to spin it. The other woman spun it because I think someone broke it last time. Um, and you get a free brush. So I've got the Make Me Blush brush, which I'm guessing is a blusher brush. Oh my god, that is so soft. So yeah, you could even use that eye reckon as like a little powder brush under your eyes or something. I never knew how soft Beauty Bay brushes were. Oh my god. Then from Kiko, we got the Lip and Cheeks Stick. I've not actually looked at this yet. It's in the shade 02. Oh my god, wow. So it's like a blusher stick. There's no way I would be able to use it as blusher because, I mean, if you look at the colour comparison to my face, I could maybe use it as like... um a lipstick though and then from urban decay we got a mini long lasting makeup setting spray i use this stuff literally religiously and i always have like a travel size one for when i go away which has just run out so yeah i've got another i think this is like 15 yeah 15 mil one and these are like a good few pounds so the tickets are like 30 pound and i'm pretty sure that you've got over 30 pounds worth of stuff back and then obviously you could have got like food and everything as well and you can run the rides as much as you wanted so yeah and then the first thing you got me walked in was this bag that says i'm a hippie on it and then it has the brand which is obviously what these chickpea crisp things are and then there's just this card which is from the glossy box box and then we got this card as well which was like which meetup you were going into so there was a b and c and then they were at different times so ours was with jordan lips comb and so does nails so yeah and then we got an actual glossy box for free which i thought was so cool because these things are like at least 10 pounds a month but oh my god was this heavy getting it home so yeah there's like the i've done like a few glossy box hauls in the past but there's the card what comes with it obviously i'm not going to need all of that out so padupa is it like super duper zingy jinga body butter very day skin formula so this is like a body butter god that smells strong what flavor is that oh it's ginger yeah of course it smells a bit like um ginger red men, to be honest very like Christmassy. And then we got the Dr. Papa Hot Pink Balm Multi Purpose Soothing Balm with Natural Papa for lips, cheeks, and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. And then there's the Pomegranate Superfood Regenerating Sleep Mask. That smells so strong. And then I thought this was pretty cool. So it's the Let Your Dreams Blossom perfume from Jean Arthez Paris. I think that's what it says. Let's see what this smells like. That is very, very, very floral. Chai seed and argon hair mask. I've never used a hair mask in my life before. And then finally, we got the Hydrating Water Infusions Raspberry and Rose Water Original Sauce Shower Gel never heard of this brand before it says it's vegan 100% natural fragrance it's got three moisturizers moisturizers in it is vitamin and antioxidant blend that smells really really nice so yeah that is everything i got today which is absolutely insane like there is stuff everywhere and it's all pretty much big name brands that you've heard of before as well like i didn't think it would be so that is so cool so yeah i am gonna end this vlog here because i'm kind of hoping i'm gonna get it up on sunday because obviously i'd have a video going up on friday and then i will vlog sean mendes in the o at the o2 on tuesday so that'll probably be up on friday coming so yeah i hope you have enjoyed watching it if you have don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i'll be back on friday with my vlog from sean mendes in london bye